So it's the end game for the Galaxy S20 FE 5G as One UI 5 based on Android 13 is finally available for download. This is the last major Android update for the S20 FE 5G which launched with Android 10 globally. So in this video, I'll share my first impression of the One UI 5 on this phone. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. All right, with that said, let's get right into the video. Now, there are a lot of changes and application features added with One UI 5, as you can see from this really long change log. But in this video, I'm going to share some of the prominent changes that you will see and feel right away after updating to One UI 5. Okay, first thing is to check is the binary. As you can see, the binary has not been updated. It is still U4, which means you can downgrade to whatever older Android 12 or 11 firmware using Odin in case you don't like Android 13 or One UI 5 for whatever reason. Okay, the second thing you'll immediately notice are the absolutely buttery animations. This is a huge improvement over One UI 4.1. Guys, my phone is almost 10 months old, completely loaded with multiple apps, micro SD card loaded, fully themed with custom icon pack and good luck modules. And yet this is the smoothest that I have ever felt using the Galaxy S20 FE 5G. And I haven't even formatted this phone after the update. Some of the biggest improvements to the animations is the quick toggle drag down. You can see I have purposefully loaded the notification panel with a lot of notifications and when I drag down the quick toggles, there is absolutely no frame skipping at all. It is buttery smooth. It's the same when pulling down the quick toggles in landscape mode. Just look how smooth the transition is for the quick toggle panel and also when going from landscape mode to the home screen with picture in picture. You can tell that they have really updated the animations when you see the camera opening and closing animation. Almost all Android phones stutter sometimes when you open the camera and exit to the home screen. With One UI 5, I haven't spotted a single stutter with the camera animation till now. Now you may notice a chop once or twice when you really push the phone, but I guarantee you that you will immediately notice the huge improvement in animation smoothness. This is definitely a huge improvement overall. Speaking of the camera, with every update, there are speculations regarding camera performance downgrade. Well, personally, I have not noticed any difference as such in my limited testing. Here are a few before and after low light samples, and I have more than enough experience with this camera system to make the judgment that camera performance is still the same and still really good. However, if you don't agree with me, you can just go ahead and downgrade via Odin. Also, Gcam still works fine, no issues there. Alright, next we have a new gesture to enable split screen view where you can do a two finger swipe up from the bottom to enable split screen multitasking. This is a nice addition that will make split screen multitasking more accessible, although this requires two hands. Now regarding performance, here is a quick 15 minute CPU throttling test and the performance is very similar to what it was with Android 12. Now I got higher scores, higher average scores but we cannot compare because the starting state of the device is not the same. But all in all, the performance is very similar and heating is as usual. As I said, the UI feels buttery smooth, which is much more relevant than mere benchmark results. Lastly, regarding bugs and battery life. So battery life in my brief usage feels exactly the same. Less than 10% battery life consumption in 15 minutes thermal throttling test is about the same as before in 120Hz mode. And same for bugs as well. I haven't found any bugs with the applications that I use or the way I use my phone. I'm sure that other channels will cover this in more detail. All right guys, so these were my first impressions with One UI 5 on the S20 FE 5G. I must say that this Android 13 update is shaping up to be the best update by Samsung, mainly due to the huge improvements in animation performance and overall smoothness in operation. There are many other application updates added to One UI 5, but those can be explored later. That's it guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.